tell me who can stand me for us when we call on that great name Jesus Jesus precious Jesus we have the victory oh come on sing it with me in the name in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have the victory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Satan will have to flee tell me tell me who can stand me for us when we call on that great name Jesus Jesus we have we have the victory come on put your heads together we have the victory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Satan will have to flee tell me tell me who can stand me for us when we call on that great name Jesus Jesus precious Jesus we have the victory Oh, bless your people this morning, God. Bless your people this morning. <laughs> Me and Pastor Amy join our faith with them this morning. Bless them. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Turn that situation around. Turn that situation around. That's frustrated them. That caused them to have sleepless nights. That caused them to worry. That caused them to fret. That caused them to be afraid. That caused them to have nightmares. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. We take authority over it in the name of Jesus. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. Glory to God. I feel the anointing. <laughs> Come on, somebody, help me give him praise. I feel a breakthrough. I feel a demonic spirit have left. I feel a darkness that I've been hovering over somebody. My God, resisting your breakthrough, resisting your marriage, resisting your health, your finances, resisting your progress, your career, your ministry, your church. Dear God, dear God, resisting your position on the job. I feel the Holy Ghost are moving out of the way, resisting your business. God have caused that devil to move out of your way. In the name of Jesus. On this morning, we want to declare over your life, you will get victory you will get victory make it personal lift your hands to heaven and declare it i will get victory praise god listen i'm going to take you into the word of god in the book of first samuel chapter 7 verses 3 through 15 and samuel spoke unto all the house of israel saying if you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord. Serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Listen, when it comes to God and prayer and you wanting to get the victory, God's not a spare tire can't just use God like he is just you know some lucky charm or something it doesn't work that way you got to get the idols out of your life get rid of the false gods get rid of the hypocrisies get rid of all of these things that have come between your relationship with God are you listening to me he loves you he cares about you but you got to get rid of some stuff first. Dear God, he wants to give you the victory, but he's not going to give you the victory clinging on to that worldly, fleshly nonsense. There are some people who, 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 who look to witchcraft and demonic divination to get their wealth. Ah, but if you put your trust in God, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says, It is the Lord your God that gives you the power to get wealth. You don't need to fool around with that nonsense. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So Samuel told these people, if you want God to give you the victory, he said, put away your false gods. Get rid of this stuff out of your life. 
and return unto the Lord. The Bible says in verse 4, Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Ashtaroth and serve the Lord only. Glory to God. Now the preparation is being made for victory. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways. God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. Are you listening to me? He is a faithful, 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 faithful God. He knows exactly what he is doing. So verse 4, the Bible says, Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Ashtoreth and serve the Lord only. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together to Mizpah and drew water and poured it out before the Lord and fasted on that day. Sometimes you got to add fasting along with your prayers. If you want to see a breakthrough, you got to turn your plate down. You have to deny your flesh. You have to deny yourself. The Bible says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable act of worship. Praying alone is not good enough. Sometimes you have to add fasting with it. Jesus said to the apostles when they could not set the boy free, this kind can only come out by prayer and fasting. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. They fasted on that day and said, There we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah, but they were repenting. They were making things right before God. There ain't nothing like making it right before God. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us that, we will, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. Me and Pastor Amy will never stop praying for you. We will constantly, as long as we're on this side of heaven and on this earth, every day we will come before you with the word of God, praying with you, believing God with you. The children of Israel, they say, please don't stop praying for us. And I love Samuel's response. My God, my God, my God. And Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. God's listening to us this morning. He is listening to our prayer. He sees your desperate situation. He knows your back is against the wall. But God is about to give you victory. My God, my God. And as Samuel was offering unto the offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel, but it was too late for the Philistines. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto has the Lord help us. Dear God is helping you right now. He is helping us right now. He's given us the victory. He's given us a breakthrough. He's given us the answer to our prayers. The Bible says, so the Philistines were subdued and they came no more into the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored back to Israel from Ekron even unto Gath and the coast thereof did Israel deliver out of the hands of the Philistines and there was peace between Israel and the Amorites and Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life you will get victory are you listening to me you will get victory I'm going to see a victory my God my God my God you will get it I'm going to see a victory. 
I'm gonna see a victory for the battle, for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Cause I'm gonna see me and Pastor Amy join our faith and pray with you right now. We declare victory over your life. We declare victory in your marriage. We declare victory in your health. We declare victory in your business. We declare victory in your ministry, in your relationship with the Lord Jesus. We declare victory in your career. We declare victory, 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 victory in the name of Jesus. We claim it. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. We cover you this morning in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want you to know God is on your side and everything's going to be all right. You're coming out of this more than a conqueror. Dear God, dear God, we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And never forget, being my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for daily morning prayers with Pastor Sean Penner and join us live every Sunday and Thursday at 7 p.m. CST. You can follow Pastor Sean Penner on all social media platforms.